I want to explain one thing which I have the wrong word and I'm very happy if somebody tells me it's a whole little misunderstanding. If I mean first you come with your feet, what is your butt, what is your back, what is also your tummy because it all works together like you sit, you breathe, you sink into the saddle, whatever you feel or whatever imagination you have is that you really try with your feet, be very close to your horse, which is the first aid. The second aid is the inside, which is called the calf. And not the weight of the soul. This is the calf. Mm -hmm. So you make sure you first touch the body with the calf and ask the horse, this is my driving aid, and tells you more high tech. First, more high tech. What means if the high tech is coming, we can go forward. It doesn't mean rain flat forward on your forehand. It means like hind leg. And then I have my fist here, which is the third aid, the hand. Always sit, calf, head. The next thing is that I want to explain to you that this is foam, hard foam. It's not plastic, it's really foam which you can even squeeze a little bit. And then there was a question in the break about the distances. I told you that the right is responsible for the right feet and for the right way. And for sure, for the right distances for each exercise. So it would take too long now to explain to you for each exercise the exact um, feet. Uh, I have my left hand with my feet. So if you have 41 on your side, <laughs> it will be three feet in walk, five feet in jog. But in Germany, it's for walk, eight to 90 centimeters. 1 meter 20 to 1 meter 40 in front. And in canter, I always use not more than 3 meters. We see later on the canter exercise, outside 3 meters, inside 2 meters. But that's why I first of all wrote the book, and now the brand new DVD, where, we, where I really explained each exercise, how you, it should be written, how you build it, and we did a little booklet which is in the DVD, which you can take while you are going next time to your, next morning to your horse and want to build to set it up. I often saw wonderful DVDs and next morning I couldn't figure out which exercise so I wrote it down. So this time now you can take this booklet, go indoors or outdoors, use the cabinetry and build it. But um, maybe we have in the next question some more. This is just a ground line or an open view. Okay, I am, now we have had the long warm-up. So first of all, I would like to introduce the two riders with the horses. I asked them to already warm up here. So now we start the working phase. So tell me something about you and your horse, please. Start with sitting now after your warm up. 
in the working place in South City. And we watch first of you now, first of all now your sitting job for in your age. And Amy wasn't here at the first lesson and I think Katie as well. For Amy, we always start with the hands first. Uh, stay sitting please. Or do you think you want to still rise or Okay, stay sitting. And any sitting, it's an entity shot. And you as the right are responsible for the round circle. So four points which you really touch the wall. Turn, touch, turn, touch. You're on the left hand now. What means the left brain and the, uh, the left calf and the right brain. These are the MLAs. Make sure that you have the left flexion and bending from the inside left. And you can only create it with little half holes when your head is really in front of you and your elbow at the wither, at, at the hips. Your elbow at the hips, so you can carry your hand in front of you more. Exactly. And really up. So you can very do the little movement just out of your hand. Now, okay, Katie, I think it's time for you that you pause here for a second and I'll show you two things. He's not going on the mid and against it. It doesn't matter. We have to show him a way that he does. But the most important thing is that you have your hands here. This is rubber. You have a rubber fist now and you can be little things. Take it, take it, take it. And you must have your fingers closed. If you have the index finger, the little finger open or something, then you can't do this. It's open again, close, and do this. Then, yeah, perfect. And then your leg is now with your fur first. <laughs> okay? And spur only if you does the leg. If you always ride like this, then you have nothing more to get in. And you now stay in riding and we lift a little bit more in. And if I see them right away, both of you, then what I like to do is you now make the circle, change the circle to the little circle. And while we talk on the circle, we talk over the truck cover. I see that you can write this circle now round. Um, you can change brain, okay, change brain and start on the right hand side. Katie, you two, hands together, more, and try to really rise in an active forward trot. And we now use, um, okay, more for a second, close. You think this is now the little circle? And you trot here on the circle before the whole cavity, here around, and first only all the knees to cavity in trot. Oh. Because now with some more advanced horses, if you are on the bending line, you want to reach the inside hind leg, you want to really get this subtle, that the ribs are loose and the horse can be very subtle in the turns. Okay, so you go strong before you trot the whole cavity and trot here over this right. And stay in trot. If you want to rise first hour, it's fine. And if I see Katie's horse, what means energy means the trot must be really active. Or you a little bit more active. And you look early enough to the middle, it's good. Any hands together. Yes, that's a look. Nice, thank you. That's what I want. <laughs> Over the back. And now try to keep this nice little bit swinging trot more active. We want cadence. We want to create a trot that is a rhythm trot. Don't cut too much to the inside. Look. That's a look. And curve. And now easy. Outside hand, inside leg. You stop with your inside hand. And every time you turn, very nice. You turn and go forward. You see his trot needs much more energy from the mind. And you want to find that to learn this. At every time of gymnastics, that from behind over the back you will come through. Very nice. Now change brain. 
change the circle, go to the circle at C, and then come here again. Oh, thank you. I like this noise most. The most I have. That means it opens up. Now we come here to the circle again, and we start first with the two, and we have some guidance here from Yannick to Kaleri that he takes on the line. Look, and see, nice rhythm plot energy. Okay, bit more. Now every time you sit, you close with your feet, and now a bit more. Good, that's better. And now you keep this wrist with And don't pull it with your inside brain. Try outside hand shape. Very nice. Now you can sit, and if you sit, now stay sitting. Good. And you can stay rising because you still want to engage more hand -led. You want to get the horse on the gate, then it starts behind you. Because the hind legs are important and you see that the hind legs are not working in the proper way. That's why we have to start behind. Most of the people start in the front, pulling in the front. Oh yeah, that's nice. Next time we take the legs. We start behind. So now, energy. Take it, give. Take it, give. Don't hold. No, not too much. Much too strong with your inside hand. Think you want to feel. You must have an imagination. Like think of holding the hand. Hold the hand of the child. You never grab it. You always want to hold it. Make the circle a little bit bigger. Let the stay lean on the right. And now take it. Take it. Take it. Don't pull. Have the hand more down. Very nice. Okay then. He's trying, but you see from there very well. Was it a circle? A turn? If you are turn behind, you turn every... Turn to turn? There's a circle. Turn. Exactly. Because you have now two things. And I'm just working and turning. So there are two chances of getting your house really... And now you see it. Now you see it. Okay, if a horse changes it or comes to it, then okay, it can be going on the way. Okay. Stop the horse, no? You didn't know that. Oh. <laughs> Americans are always out of control. So that you are going to be So, Katie, you are on the circle. So this whole body has to be very, very, very nice. And you go to change it. Because we have two different 
she's very kind and very kind of her. So we make a little break now. First, the book of Casey went a little bit hard at time to get this huge, first ever get confirmation. That's what our first impression was, she's huge, she's alone. Then I saw the book and I saw that the entire workshop was not that energy behind. So you must learn to read, be more from behind, open the back into your hand. You must learn that your hands are not like this anymore. And no more footage. <coughs> Otherwise, there's no chance to have this contact. You can't write the wrong behind in your head if your head isn't perfect. So, with the way, we build the bridge. And here I show everybody the red part bridge because we have two bridges bridge way. We have the cross country bridge, which we maybe show tomorrow. But now we show the dress up bridge, which helps that the rider carries the hand in front. And while he's turning, he turns his shoulder. Oh, and you, because you will bridge. <laughs> but I, I know I take it with a smile. I'm happy that you do. Because, because that's, um, I know exactly how that feels. You give me the break, the whip. You take both reins, this rein and this rein, and like this. And, um, they, this one's all day, they lay really beside each other. Good. And now you feel the knee to have to match it. Shorten the rein, take your leg on, and guide it. When you do, what you do is, you stay over the body <coughs> and do some canter shot position. Shot over the top, let him sit, canter, shot, canter. Because I guess canter would be easier movement. So we start with canter instead of making it more. Okay, first put one round here on the circle with the bridge. Shorten the rein and keep both reins exactly on top of each other. Both reins on top of each other. Here down and first that way. Don't always press with your arm. Make sure you can't lose up. It's breathing. Breathing it. Not pressing it. If the leg breathes, if you feel you can't get. The same with the leg. Otherwise, how about stuck together? So you come with your leg and away. Come and away. And take this and try to keep him to ride him on the bit. Take this. Easy. Just with your inside fist so your outside is now connected and make sure the outside is there. Take this and leg and give. And leg and give. And leg and give. Now you give every second. That you give a little half hold and he's blaming. If you go like this, it will be not good for your back, not good for your health, not for your hind leg. We need to go round on the bit. Take this, take this, and again, take this. Now, one gear is already with you, one not, so you just keep going. And you breathe, and you don't, you think you help a child, which is not on the right way, you don't think you're a stupid idiot. <laughs> Why are you not on the bridge? <laughs> you think, here I am, and have to explain him that he's on the wrong path. Aha! Take it, and take it, and take it. It's always stay, come with your leg in. Always the three I have in my hand. Until he realizes, you stop this, if he gives in, you take it. Again, and again, and again. Easy, not more, just quicker. Easy, yes, and this, and toe up, inside calf, toe up, inside calf, again, again, yes, a bit better, how pattern wants or say half, but he knows you are nearly coming, not yet, but one day later, so, and keep going, yes, and keep going, and going, and again, doesn't matter, flashlight, so, and now you trot on. Now you can trot. Now you start a little bit, so you trot, rising trot. And keep your hands there, short reins. And turn. And turn, and the reins must be short. So, short reins, you are close to the mouth, and he feels your little half holes. Come, leg, come, leg. Yes. And keep your outside hand also straight, so the outside hand uh, upright. Mm -hmm. Upright with your outside hand, 
I want to see the thumb. Yes, take it. Take it again. Yes. And now you change through the circle of the cavalry. And chop of the four cavalry. Chop of the four cavalry. So we have tried to engage the hand hands. Look at the hand hands. Now they said that we pump every step one day. And turn and give. And turn and give. And now every time you sit, if you use your seat, forward, forward, forward. Don't hold, just give and let him turn. Turn, turn, turn. Yes. And take it. And if it looks like you want to dance into the saddle, you touch the saddle and out of the out of the saddle. Touch and away. Take, give, up and away. You need to be energetic to get him energetic. Much better. And more. Keep it stay before you and turn and look. Look now already where you go. And turn and give. And turn and give. And stay there. As matter. You need, you see the right from the front. You need better head right to the right red. Right side to the right red. That would be perfect for him. Come. Turn, turn, turn. And engage. And engage. And sit. Yes. Now you start trotting. And soft with your hand. Hand down and leg. Come. Leg, leg, leg. And curve. Don't worry. That is because he's quite stiff there on the inside bridge. He tries to find a way to go straight on the cavalletti. But you want to turn. Take it. Take it. Left, left. And curve. Ah, better. And now he's still right on the cavalletti. Because that helps him to engage. Yes, now you come pick it is and you be soft. Gentle with the hand, a little bit forward, gentle, turn, 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 yeah. And now you should just do hand up. Hand one round behind the cavalry. And now I don't want to see this girl to the horse anymore. You have the car and let him handle his job, not your job. He can handle and you guide him. And now you should just Trot and trot of the cavalry. Look, trot of the cavalry. Look earlier and rise it. Yes, and canter. And sit and canter. Half hold, flat weight, flat calf, easy. Toe in. If you want breathing, you want to have your toe in. That you are not this is further. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you sit? Let him easy canter. Come, come. And look. And can you? Good. Look ahead a bit more. He has a big sky, so he needs rhythm. Rhythm, 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 and trot, and of the cover. And give, give with your hand. Give, give, give. Let him give. Turn, turn, turn. Much better. And can you? Yeah. Oh. Next time, when I say can you, you could sit. Half hold, get the ideas close and then can you? up in front of you. Don't feel like I'm going to take and chase you. Take your time for this half hour. Trot. Easy trotting. And turn. Yeah. And turn. And canter. Close him. Yeah. And take him in the transition. So he is in and not hard in the transition. Come on, keep it, keep it, keep it. Take it, take it. Start on the rain, please. Yeah, that's better. And cross and let him look easy and turn. Yeah, and turn, much better. And change rain. Change rain, sit. And try now with your right leg. Take, come with your leg. Uh, let it breathe again. Come, breathe again. Come here now, top of the cabinet and breathe, turn. Because now we want his right inside, right hind leg. Turn, 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 yeah, and take it, easy, take it, just out of your fist. And later you see you can get and he feels happy to get in. Come, come, a bit more. Oh, that was the wrong way. Come. Now a little bit more active. Sit and give, sit and give. More. Come with your legs. 